How's it going guys? We are back with another video here, and this video is going to be explaining how to get Lemieux and Gretzky in NHL 24. So it's a little bit different this year, and it actually is more of a clear path on how to get them, instead of the more random approach they had in NHL 23. Let's get into the video now, hope you guys do enjoy, make sure you're subscribed, and turn on all notifications, and let's hop into the video now. Basically, you go into the icon section here, and there's a few different things to mention here. So you have the ultimate hot moments reward set, uh, that's, that's a way to get an icon choice pack. Uh, again, not 100% certain if Gretzky and Lemieux are in this pack. I would assume it's possible that you could get them. I'm assuming it's all the icons. It's like a random, maybe one of three choice. We don't know how many options there are, uh, but this is from the moment, obviously. You have your ultimate power of icon sets, which includes Gretzky, Howe, and Lemieux. I should have mentioned that. I mean, how I'm not forgetting about Gordy Howe, don't you worry. We also have the Playoff Heroes Power Up Icon Sets. We have the Rookies Power Up Icon Sets, the Vintage Power Up Icon Sets, and finally, the Dynamic Duo Power Up Icon Sets. So what do all of those mean? Okay, so the general thing that you guys need to know is to receive Gretzky, Lemieux, or Hal, you need to collect all of the 85 icons. So if you look at Lemieux, for example, you need to have John Belvo. Chris Chelios, Mark Messier, Dennis Potvin, Timu Solani, both Sedins, and Maurice Rocket Richard. That is what you need to collect to trade in and get Mario Lemieux 88 overall power by icon edition. And you actually have two power collectibles. I mean, not bad. I mean, thanks for the thanks for the free uh, collectibles. But that is how you get Lemieux or Gretzky. These are exactly the same on both of them, okay? So again, you see Beliveau, Chelios, Messier, Potvin, Solani, the Sedins, and Richard. So again, exactly the same 85s that go for all three of these guys, all right? But how do you get the 85s, you'll be wondering. Is it gonna cost an arm and a leg? Well, it probably will, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get these 85s and the best way to do it. So the ways to get the 85s is through this. So now I'm in the Playoff Heroes icon sets. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so you need to get Messi, you need to get Richard, but how do you get them? You need to trade in Lidstrom, Brodor, Landy McDonald, and Mark Recchi. So an 84, an 83, an 82, an 82, all right? But how do you get those? So the ways to get them is you need to trade in 40 goal players to get a, a power-up icon choice pack. One of three, okay? So I do believe, uh, I mean, more than likely, I mean, you'll be able to, I mean, unless you get really unlucky, you'll be able to get uh, all of these guys uh, pretty easily. You would think in four packs, you would think. So I don't know if there's a cooldown yet as well on trading in the goal players to get them, but realistically, it's a, it's a much more clear path of how to get these players. So once you do that, uh, you trade in uh, all those goal players, you, you get those four 82s, threes, four, and five, or, or sorry, 82, 3, 84, 83, 2, and 2. That is how uh, you, then you do that for Messi, you do that for Richard. Uh, it'll be a similar thing for the other sets. Then you have the rookie ones, right? So same thing, Chris Chelios, Timo Solani. What do you do? You trade in 40 gold players uh, and you eventually get your Chelios and you get your Timo Solani by eventually collecting uh, 84, 83, 82, and 82. I believe these are exactly the same. Sakic, yeah. I'm pretty sure that makes the most sense. Uh, and it, uh, it actually doesn't. So there's actually different ones you need to collect. So uh, you got your Eisman, Brindamore, Newman, and Smith. So I guess you could kind of, you could kind of get into an issue here where you might get duplicates again, like kind of how like, NHL 23 was. But I think it's more unlikely that you're going to run into that issue. And you could always buy these cars in the auction house too, right? So that's the thing. It's not like it's like just being capped to just uh, only doing it in sets, right? I'm sure these are obviously pullable. And like I said, I keep mentioning it. Now the vintage one, it's the same idea. To get Potvin and Belvo, you need to trade in unique cards. Like, so Makita, Salming, Clark, and Peter Stasny for that one. And then for the Potvin, you need to trade in Trottier, Busick, Johnny Bauer, and Henry Richard. Actually, funny enough, I have, have Henry Richard, so I'm kind of making my way there, right? So uh, that's, uh, that's a decent... Decent way to do it like that. And then, like I said, there's only uh, one more set to talk about. You have a dynamic duo icon cards, okay? So, again, same thing. Trade in 40 goal players. You got Henrik Sedin. You got Daniel Sedin, the brothers. So, for Daniel, you have to trade in Hashik, uh, Forsberg, Hayduk, and Michael Pekka to get Daniel. And then for Henrik, you need to trade in Paul Coffey, Brett Hull, and Larry Murphy, and Adam 
oats, all right? So that's what you do to get the sedines. And then once you have those sedines, guess what? You have completed all of them. You have all the 85, and you can either get Lemieux, Gretzky, or Gordie Howe. Uh, and again, I, I think it's a lot more clear this year and a lot more, more understanding of how to get these guys. And I think, I mean, for me, I didn't get Lemieux until like, I don't even know, April this year. And again, the game pretty much dead by April. So uh, yeah, I would say uh, it's a lot, lot more simpler this year. And I hope I was able to explain it more for you guys. So I don't think I actually showed uh, both what you need for Messier. So uh, yeah, Curry, Niedermeyer, Ray Bork, and Richards, you need to trade in. I'm not sure if I if I showed this one exactly for it. Uh, just kind of running through one more time, just so you guys, uh, if, if you forget, like, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I'm pretty sure I didn't show those because I showed Lidstrom, Brodor, and McDonald. I assumed that they were the same, but they were not. So that is how you get Gretzky and Lim the most simple form way to kind of talk about it. And uh, who would you guys choose? And looking at the icon, like the ultimate icon ones, we got Wayne Gretzky. All right, so at 90 overall, he is six foot. 185, he's a left-handed shot, 91 face-offs, gold unstoppable force, third eye, elite edges, and tape to tape are his abilities. So again, Gretzky, uh, he has different synergy options. You got playmaking boost, you got defensive boost, and you got playmaking forward and sniper forward. So his shot is nuts. I mean, you can't really deny that. Uh, very, very good shot on Gretz. Uh, but again, 95 face-offs. I mean, the, the question is, who is the best out of Gretzky, Lemieux, and Howe? Gretzky looks like that at 90 overall. Gordy Howe at six foot two oh five, and honestly, Howe looks a lot better this year. I feel like usually Howe skating isn't really up to up to speed, and it looks like this year it actually is. And with the enforcer forward, they actually give him ninety two speed right out of the gate. So shot's not amazing, but he does have silver unstoppable force. He has back atcha, silver close quarters, and gold truculent. So it certainly would be a fun card to use. I don't think you could really debate that or not. But Gordy Howe looks really nice at ninety overall. Lemieux, who has sniper forward. Playmaking forward, playmaking boost, defensive boost, and checking boost. So, listen, Lemieux, he looks solid. And notice, guys, that like he has 92 speed, right? But so does Gordy Howe. But I guess what it really comes down to is what do you prefer? Do you prefer the size on Lemieux? Do you, do you think Howe is just a better overall card? I think Lemieux looks to be bigger this year as well. I think he's 230. I don't think I remember he was 230 last year. I guess he gained weight in the offseason, but. Silver Total Eclipse, Silver Born Leader, Silver Unstoppable Force, and Goal Close Quarter. So really good abilities on Lemieux too, though. That's the thing. But for me, guys, I mean, looking at all three of these cards, uh, I mean, it's tough to really uh, say. I mean, they're all really, really good cards. Uh, what do you prefer using? Do you like the bigger plays? Or like the, the more, you know, small players like Gretzky and like Howe, right? So uh, 90 speed on Gordy Howe with, uh, with synergies boosted. Uh, Lemieux... Lemieux, uh, again, is a 92 speed without synergies at 91 overall, though. So it's just depends what you really uh, are looking for in, in a card, honestly. I mean, I, I, I always prefer Lemieux because I think he's, you know, to me, size does matter in this game. But uh, that's just my logic. I would go with Lemieux. And after that, I'd still go Gretzky. And then third, I'd go probably how. No offense. No offense. Because you got Gretzky with the goal on Salvo Forest. I just feel like that's really, really uh, probably the play. I just, I really do. So no offense to Lemieux. No offense to Howe, I should say. Uh, I would rank them Lemieux, Gretzky, and Howe. Uh, yeah, that, that's just, to me, that's the most logical ranking for them. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's, and I'll see you guys in the next video.